If you're like most people, you undoubtedly want to be financially independent at some point in your life. Finding a path to wealth, though, might be difficult. As a result, you continue to go to work, pay your expenses, and live paycheck to paycheck, much like a hamster on a wheel. What if I told you that it didn't have to be this? What if I told you that you can start attracting extra money into your life right now? What if I told you that you can achieve financial prosperity in only 7 easy steps? Number 1. Concentrate on what you have today. Many people get caught up in brooding over what they don't have or what they've lost. This negative thought pattern sets in motion a downward spiral of negativity, which repels the positive forces of happiness. Instead, use the gift of appreciation to focus on everything that you do have. This is the only moment we have. Yesterday has passed us by. Concentrate on the present moment and learn from mindfulness instructors. Number 2. Believe that you are worthy of happiness. You must think that you are deserving of happiness in order to attract prosperity. I didn't say you have the right to happiness. The keyword here is worthy. The key to happiness is to improve our self-perception, which can be aided in great part by our daily routine. You can't take any of the other steps until you honestly believe you're deserving of happiness. You must let go of the guilt and shame linked with the past in order for this to happen. Number 3. Get rid of your enmity. You are filling your attention with an illusion if you are jealous of another person's worldly goods. Just because someone drives a high-end vehicle does not suggest they are wealthy or have a lot of money. Jealousy is a liar who fabricates a story that is virtually never based in reality. Make way for joy by letting go of your jealousies. Expunge any negative energy. Accept the basic things in life and you will find peace. Number 4. Stop the cycle of powerlessness that has been instilled in you. To remain trapped in poverty's gravitational pull, one must continue to engage in learned helplessness. When the words I can't occupy your emotional and karmic space, you won't be able to attract wealth or other great things into your life. Stop making excuses for what you can't do and start saying I can instead. To put it another way, I am capable of attracting prosperity because I am deserving of happiness. Number 5. Examine the concept of riches. You must go beyond wishful thinking to attract money into your life. It entails making a deliberate decision to study everything you can about money and how wealth is amassed. Investigate the ideas, behaviors, and habits of wealthy people who have created and attracted riches. These are your professors. Recognize that true riches do not manifest themselves in the form of dazzling jewelry, expensive cars, or fancy clothing. In truth, the vast majority of millionaires are careful budgeters who have built their fortunes over decades. Number 6. Money's power should be respected. Money is a result of your toil and toiling. You insult yourself when you disrespect money. Respecting money entails keeping track of it. It entails keeping track of it on a regular basis. It entails acknowledging that money has both restorative and destructive properties and that it should not be abused. Money, when correctly managed, has the ability to grow and provide for you for many years. When you are disrespected, it deteriorates and has a negative impact on your future. Finally, valuing money entails not using it as a gimmick to increase one's self-esteem by overspending. Number 7. Make a monetary donation. This final point is about money's spiritual and karmic power. We contribute to refill the human spirit when we offer money to others who are less fortunate. Money will not follow you if you hoard it. Instead, utilize your empathy to figure out who is in need and how you might assist them. Offering to pay for groceries in the checkout line for a struggling family in front of you is an example. It could also imply donating your time to your favorite charity, which is a type of money. When you give to others out of genuine love and compassion, you create more happiness, which is the prelude to wealth. Change is a time-consuming process. This is true of most things, including a change in our attitude about money. It's also true when we work on ourselves, whether it's to better understand our dreams or to engage in physical activity to combat despair. Finally, keep in mind that most people who are financially secure did so via hard effort and an honest, deep abiding conviction in themselves.